is not pretty. Hi, I'm Tony. This is SV Tapacha. We are building this cruising sailboat. And uh, going to start somewhere that may be a little unexpected this week because as you may be aware we've been working out on the on the Bimini framing structure quite a bit recently but uh, you know building this boat so uh, sort of attacking on several fronts as is, as is the nature of these sort of projects one thing I'm stood here in the galley on my right here is the heads area and one thing that's been going on is to and needs doing indeed is, is to get the heads area finished uh, I'll just move the camera Because here I am in the heads, um, one thing that's obvious is that there's no door at the moment missing and cupboards behind me and below me around about are also lacking doors. I put the sliding doors in there last week but so I've been making doors and there is one that is designed and made to fit in there. Uh, it's fitting <laughs> but the door is done and hopefully it won't fall on my head. Another one here for the cupboard under the sinks. One more to do for this cupboard that's in front of me that is obviously off camera now. But yeah, making progress. Need to get some hinges, catches, uh, and get that fitted.
Very nice, eh? Yeah. What a lovely morning that is. Nice spot as well. See that actually we're near that female bridge. We just set our course 185 towards that lighthouse, which you probably also won't see over there. It's blinking away nicely for us. While we're talking about putting bits of wood in holes, I also made up this board that uh, obviously blocks up the blocks off the engine room there, the engine room hatch, access hatch. It still needs some bolts on it, but it's done. It's glass both sides, painted in as you can see, and it does rather change the look of the place. That has to be said. It's come out well. I'm pleased with that. And glass in ply boards, it's one of the last pieces of board that I will need to glass and I may have said that before but it's still got the, the Bimini hard top will be glassed and uh, but we're getting there, it's a very nice feeling to be glassing what was uh, one of the very last pieces to be glassed at least. Getting there!
It's suddenly gone quiet, hasn't it, Hazel? Yeah, yeah, because the engine's on. Oh, the engine's on. And we, we go forward. Look at that. That looks nicer, doesn't it? <laughs> Delightful. Let's give you a bit of sails. I'm talking to you with sunglasses in my mouth. It's very effective, I'm sure. Now I've just dropped that board out and uh, show you something in here. I'm trying to come in gently. Just did a bit of wiring on this battery isolator. Um, the wires that run or the cables run through from uh, the battery isolator through to the two batteries. They're installed, running through, and the ground cable on that is also installed. Just needs one more cable down to the alternator uh, for the charge input, obviously, to that. And coming on quite well. Engine room's looking very tidy. Still got a bit to do in there though. Stop cable, the, the instrument panel's not wired up, exhaust not in, so there's a few things to do in there. But a bit more progress. In order to run those cables through, you know, I could put one terminal end on in the shed in the comfort of that. But to run them through the, uh, the various bulkheads and whatever, I didn't want to have the other terminal end on. So I wanted to run just the, the cable diameter through the um, bulkheads and then put the other uh, terminal on as the cable was in position. So um, you know, these terminals, when you look at them, they're, yeah, they're really good quality tinned terminals, but they're um, quite bulky. And so, uh, you know, the cable I've used is a tinned cable, of correct, uh, the correct AWG, tinned cable and tinned terminals, very nice. Um, but to put them on, I bought this little butane torch, um, and it is really good, really good. I couldn't film me doing it because I'm in the engine room there, um, it's impossible to get a camera in there and me and this, but it, a brilliant little soldering torch, it's but butane torch, it's not very expensive, great quality, got a piezo ignition thing on there. Absolutely fantastic tool, brilliant for soldering. 
So in my collection of old boat stuff, I've got one of these winches. It's a South Coast number no. five winch, all bronze, chrome plated, I guess, but a bronze winch, beautiful winch. So I, uh, I gave it a clean up and a grease up. Um, it's really nice, works beautifully. The only problem I have is I haven't got a winch handle for it. It's a, it's a three quarter inch square on there, so it's not your normal standard winch handle. So if anybody out there in viewer land has got a winch handle they'd like to sell me, I'd be very, very pleased to hear from you for a South Coast number no. five winch. Nice.
And well, I've got this winch, so I thought I might as well mount it there. Uh, being junk rigged, we don't really need much in the way of winches. I've got the um, capstan and, and gypsy winch that's going on the forward mast for anchor chain, and I uh, say so it's got the rope capstan on it as well. So um, that would be up forward winch possibilities, and I thought I'd mount this one aft uh, on the coach roof probably, uh, because I got it really. So I've started to make up this pad, because usual thing, we'll have some deck crown and also just raises it up that bit to get it out of the out of the wet and whatever and perhaps give you a slightly better working angle on it. And, um, usual thing, a couple of layers of ply, laminated up, a couple of an angle, smoothed up, will be glassed, not yet. So to finish off this week, we're gonna do something a little bit unusual. Um, Hazel and Karen are here. Hazel, unfortunately, is feeling a bit under the weather because she had a second COVID jab yesterday. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> you've been on better form, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we want to talk to you about something. And I think Karen's going to say a few words. Yes, well, thank you. Um, yeah, I don't normally show up in front of a camera. I'm more behind the scenes kind of woman. Um, but I wanted to address something that's close to my heart, which is um, cancer, breast cancer. And if you remember, uh, Tony has mentioned uh, that I had breast cancer in 2018, um, which is three years ago now. Yeah. Um, I did go through all the, the works. I did the uh, surgery, chemotherapy, radiation and the hormone therapy and I took care of my health, Yourself, yeah. sports and dietary and yeah, everything I could but unfortunately it reared its head again this year and I had it again, breast cancer, which shook my world and um, well, wow shocked everybody else in the family yeah. as well but I know it's fairly well treatable it's um, seven every seventh or eighth woman in the world has breast cancer and I think it's uh, about 90 percent treatable that's right yeah. um, so I'm I'm in good hands I think I'm still going through chemotherapy I did the surgery but it's getting better. Yeah, anyway. well, you're, you're going to do a, an event soon, aren't you? Yes, yes. Well, Hazel and I, we are going to do the Muddy Angel Run in Hamburg, yeah. which is kind of a charity towards uh, yeah. breast cancer. But there's all sorts of mud runs or charity events yeah. all over the world. You, you probably know it best You in your country, uh, in your vicinity. You can help anywhere, donate anywhere. So we're not looking for donations here. We're just asking you to help anywhere. Support can. cancer charities yeah. wherever you are. Yeah. Well, basically to be aware of your physical... Yeah, look after yourself, guys. Yeah. Checkups. Do the checkups, exactly. Um, look after yourselves. Live healthy. As healthy as you can. <laughs> As you can. As you want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But there should be some fun in life as well, so not just healthy and strictly, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fun well, is important. I'm sure laughing is as important. Yes. But. Good. Yes. And then we're hoping to go sailing soon. We are indeed. And we'll finish there. Thanks for watching. Uh, could be Bimini next week, you never know. <laughs> All that YouTube stuff, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>